All right, Dad, uh, it's Spencer again. So you saw when you uploaded the uh, pictures to Facebook, it said that they were pending and that they need to be approved. So this one's gonna show you how to approve them, how to title them, how to add captions, how to tag people in them. Um, but you know, now that uh, you've got them up there, uh, it's click on Safari to open up the internet. Um, on mine, it's over on the left there. Yours is probably down the bottom, but click it and open it on up. Okay, and so this is your internet, um, and I hope that you now know how to click in the top bar up there and type in uh, Facebook, but however you want to do it, get yourself over to Facebook. Um, I just did think I'd show you, though, that uh, in your bookmarks bar, uh, Facebook is preloaded under the popular tab, so if you click on popular, you can go down to Facebook and get in there as well. Um, I don't know how your bookmarks bar is organized, but you can type it in just as easily. I just did want to show you that. All right, so this is the Facebook page. You can sign in. Um, if you've signed in recently, it might go straight to your Facebook home page. Uh, but this is the sign-in page, and up in the top is where you're going to type it in, but I think you know how to do that. Okay, and so this is your quote-unquote home page within Facebook that loads up every time you go onto Facebook. Um, and in the upper right-hand corner, under requests, it says, you will see that you have one pending album. Uh, that's the photos that you uploaded out of iPhoto. And so when you click on that um, one pending album, you get brought to your request page. And so this is the new stuff that um, people will send you. So you can see on mine, someone sent me uh, things using different applications, or if you have a new friend, they might show up here, or if someone wants to add you as a friend, but uh, on the, since I clicked on the one pending album, it's on the top of the screen. It says you have an album with pending photos. Um, and the album is titled Picture. And it says this album has one pending photo. And so I'm going to click View Pending Photo to actually approve it. And so having done that, uh, this is the page you're brought to. You can see this album contains photos uploaded from another application. Select photos to approve or reject. So all the photos are there. Um, this time we only have one, but you might have a whole bunch of them. What you want to do is you want to either click on that little tiny open box to check them, or in the lower right corner, you can do select all or select none. Um, once you've gone through and selected the ones you want, you can choose either approve selected photos or reject selected photos. Um, generally, if I've uploaded them to here, it means I want them. So I generally do select all and then approve selected photos. Um, I mean, I wouldn't really load them up here unless I wanted to have them approved, but you know, however you might want to do it. Sometimes if you're trying to do them as a batch, you might have like six that you want to do, but one in the middle. And so rather than clicking on them all individually, you'll just kind of use that shift click to get them all. And the one in the middle you might not want. So then I would click on that one only and do reject selected photos. Um, once you've picked them though, make sure that you see that you have that check mark in them as the screen shows. I know it's kind of small, but that's what you're looking for. And once you have that and the ones you want to keep, you click approve. And so now you should see up top photos approved. So that means uh, that anyone can view them on Facebook. Um, when they're approved, they're up there. When they're pending, I'm pretty sure only you can see them until you've actually gone through and approved them. But so now that you've done that, it's successful. You can see the ones that have been approved. Um, you can add a comment down there on that page, but I do want you to realize that that's not the same as like typing in a caption. That's a comment on sort of the whole album. So what you probably want to do if you want to edit them is uh, up top, just above where it says photos approve, it says edit photos. So go ahead and click on that. And when you click on edit photos, they all show up here. This one, this album only has one. A um, couple options on this page is the caption. You can type in a caption um, and it'll just kind of show up as whatever you put there. Uh, Next to the photo itself, it says this is the album cover. What that means is when someone clicks on all of your pictures, they show up and organized by the albums and whatever one is there shows up as like the cover for it. I don't really worry about that. You can delete it by filling in that box and hitting save. And then you can also move it to another album by using that little drop down box. This is stuff that really is kind of, I don't know, I don't really deal with too much. Um, but if you want to go ahead and type in the caption. And when you type in a caption, uh, you could type in a caption like that. It says, what does it say? This is a window I think I typed in there. You can go ahead and do that. And now tagging photos is a really fun part of Facebook where if you tag someone as in a photo, uh, it shows up on their profile as being in it. So it's kind of a cool way to like share pictures. And if you have a picture of someone else, that way you can do it and everyone can see it. Um, and it's also a fun way to, it's a good way to sort of caption them without typing in like this picture contains the following people. Cause then when people, 
it'll say like, oh, like Spencer Merzeski is in this picture and then they can hold their mouse over it and the box will show up around my face. So if they didn't know me, they could see who I am. And it's really kind of a cool thing to do. So what you would do is um, you just click directly on the photo with your mouse. You don't need to like open up the tag and you just click on it and you get this box right here. Um, and that's how you start the tagging thing. And so the names show up or you can start typing their name in that box there. And as you start typing in a name, it starts guessing them. So I typed in Michael M and I got Michael Merzieski, who is someone I don't even know. And then Michael Merzieski, New Haven, Connecticut, which is you. Um, and so as those names fill up, you can click the checkbox next to them and then hit tag. And then every time someone goes to your profile, this picture will show up with the box around there as you. Um, it really works better if there's faces in it. I just did this one as an example, but sometimes people do it to be funny too. Like uh, I think you'll notice on mine, someone's tagged those pictures of those doll. And it's just the point is that it makes it show up on your profile. So sometimes people do it as a joke like that. Um, it's really optional and it's rude to do it if it's like an embarrassing picture usually like you let people tag themselves but if it's like nice pictures it's a really fun and really cool way to kind of share them so that's what the whole tagging thing is if you don't get this part though you really don't need to worry about it because other people can also go through your album and if they see themselves in the picture they can like tag themselves in it they can add captions and stuff like that so so that all works and now you can see where it says um, in this photo Michael Merzieski so that's how you got the tag in there and you also can click remove once you're done editing it, you can do save changes um, by clicking on the save changes thing. And there you go. Um, it says changes saved. Uh, now, if you want to, what it is that you see how it says share this album with friends, even if they're not on Facebook, what it is, is you can see down the bottom there, there's this link. If you give someone that link, then they can look at your photos, but they can't look at the rest of your Facebook. Um, that's how I send pictures home to you guys, or at least I did before you had Facebook. Uh, it's a really, really handy way because putting you can put as many photos as you want on Facebook for free. So it's cheaper than using like those other things that I used to use when I was in Newcastle. Um, whatever those things were called, like Photo Bucket or whatever they are. Uh, so that's a good way to share them. You just copy and paste that link to somebody. Um, and then other things, I mean, click around and you can probably figure it out. Or if you have more questions, uh, let me know and I'll try and help you out. But try and get through these and see how these work for you, okay? Good luck.